Hello, this is not a spring chicken. I know a lot of you know that the 4th of July is, yes, next week. But I don't know about you, but where we are, people are starting to celebrate the 4th of July. And I think there's going to be a lot of people on vacation the entire week. So, of course, our 4th of July coverage is starting when? This weekend. But for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's all over for the Republicans. Well, okay. And for some reason, Rex is going to be out a lot because, you know, and Rex basically, like Bill O'Reilly, worships the ground that the president walks on. But, um, uh, it, okay, the, 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 it's going to be the common theme for absolutely the next of uh, it, uh, July, August, September, October, for four solid months that is over for the Republicans because of the great victory that the President of the United States had in health care. They are paranoid at the moment. Like we did a piece, you want to see how, why, this is what a Democrat is doing from the victory, from the victory they had. They do not want to even talk about it, except for the fact we need money to compete with the Republicans. The only way we're going to be able to retain control of the Senate, they're not even talking about the House anymore, they're talking about retaining control, is that we need emergency funding. Why? Because Chief Justice Roberts, like the, um, like the, the uh, rulers of Rome, tossed meat to the lions in the, uh, in the arena. The, the, the lions being the Republican right that would not vote for Obama if hell froze over. Hell just froze over twice. And basically now they have a reason because they do, okay, it is the largest tax rate in the history of mankind. Everyone knew it was a tax hike except for the Democrats. And News Corp is officially breaking up with itself. Yeah. Um, what happened is Obama, uh, that um, Murdoch has problem with the publishing side, which also includes scandal magazines in Europe and here. They cause much grief for the company. So what you do is you divest yourself of the side that isn't really making money anymore and stay with the entertainment division and the news side, which is bringing money in. But the problem comes is, is that it means that uh, Wall Street Journal is going to go down the tank and it looks like probably Fox Financial, which more or less, I, I, I can't, most of the people can't get Bloomberg Financial mm -hmm. and MSNBC basically only reports news that is positive to the President of the United States. So the, at least the people at the Wall Street Journal fairly report the news, what's going on in the financial thing. And if the, if the Wall Street Journal goes so goes Fox Financial too, which is probably, a, my guess is they've known it was going for some time because they dumped, they, okay, because they're, they, they were too negative towards the President of the United States in the evening hours, which had nothing to do with the financial day. They fired everybody and basically have been running in a holding pattern since February. They've added one, they've added one show to it and still rerunning, which means they have no intention of keeping Fox Financial on the air for any much longer, so. Oh, and um, Congress honors black Marines from World War II. I know. It means that they need the black vote. First of all, um, I don't see the people on my mommy's side of the family being honored. Don't oh, the Indians. Indians. Uh huh. They did. You know, we did a movie called. Indians Wars. don't get honored very often. Indians don't get. I, as I pointed out, the fact. We're going to try something to explain people about illegal aliens. You can't send them back. Uh, my mommy's fa family, are, some part of them are still on reservations, folks. Oh, and then there was my wife. My wife's members of her family have still not gotten back the property they owned before they were tossed in internment camps during World War II. Mm -hmm. So when you say, well, the individual people of this country couldn't possibly send them back, well, go we'll count the other cat, pure and simple. And Tropical Storm Debbie rains misery on flooded Florida. Oh God, they just killed like seven people from that storm in Washington, D.C. alone. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, what happens is tropical storms are always bears. This is tropical. And it's what's funny, they said, that despite the fact they're talking about global warming, the, I put up a thing the other day on the site, which basically is the summer forecast. It's no worse than any other time, despite the fact they keep saying it's a disaster. No, they said probably less major hurricanes in the past. 
and huge NASA pick of North Pole will give you shivers. Oh, yeah. I mean, NASA's got... Okay. NASA is being used by the President of the United States as a propaganda arm. And what's going to happen is the military is now starting to launch their own satellites again because that's the only place that is not... You can't, uh, you can't propagandize satellites for defense loss from the, from the military, but it is not designed... Oh, what are they doing? We're, they're launching... We get invites all the time to go to um, the military bases in the area to see them launch. You know, like, go to Vandenberg and see the satellite launch. Well, you used to go to uh, Houston or Cape Canaveral, and now they're launching them from like Vandenberg. That would be fun. Yeah. And huge NASA pick of North Pole will give you shivers. Oh yeah, that's the one because it's, it's melting. Oh, I want to see that one. Yeah. Topless Ty Painter on talent show stirs debate. Oh yeah, because, uh, it, it, okay, first of all, you can't go into a bar in Thailand without stark naked bar girls. Well, you can't, they right. walk down the beaches with no clothes on. So therefore, why would a topless painter on a variety show cause a guy you... I mean, you have to go see what they have vendors selling on the streets I of Thailand. I know. Speaking of, yeah. Australian swimmer... <laughs> what was it? Australian swimmer stirs debate for sending out a picture of her... In a bikini. Yeah, and, yeah basically. Uh, What's the big deal? She, I mean, it was she not a She wears a swimsuit for She's cars. a swimmer. And she sent out a picture in a... Okay, basically, I don't think that they're supposed to... Okay, here we got... We have Olympians that are professional models. They're, they're wearing... They're in Sports Illustrate wearing paint. And they, but what happened was it comes on the top of an Australian swimmer in a firearm incident, so they didn't want any more publicity for the Australian swim team. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Which, of course, guess what they did? Yeah. Okay, they made first, more controversy. Yeah, but they said if she had just sent a picture of her out on the beach wearing nothing but a little, uh, a little strap at the bottom and no bra, nobody would have thought anything of it. So what was the big deal? Because she took the camera and, and, blanked, and flashed out her face to hide that it was her, and didn't realize that you could still see her. <laughs> yeah. It was like she was trying to hide what she was doing. They, like they, yeah, they, but if she sends it out, oh, they got oh, a that's picture the one we were her. talking about yesterday. They got a picture of her out also wearing a, she's un, wearing a little police, out, police girl's outfit unbuttoned down to her belly button with breasts showing, and uh, an awful lot of rear end showing. That was acceptable. <laughs> and Microsoft Surface takes on the Apple's iPad. Yeah, like that's there. There, this seems it's a dead issue. Uh, th that's nothing new. No, because we we told people if they were serious, all the people at the press days would have had one, like they gave the people for Google. For Google, yeah. Yeah, and U.S. government sues to force return of one million dollar rare dinosaur fossil to Mongolia. No, that's not going to happen. Never in a million years because it was legitimately purchased by the individual. You cannot see something that somebody bought at a legit, a legitimate businessman. He bought it legitimately. He doesn't get his money back. The government wants to seize it because Mongolia is part of China and the Chinese government wants to put the fossil in one of their museums. Tell the United, tell Obama, pay the guy the money. And he's like. They just want to take it from him. And Greece close to forming a coalition government. Yeah, and this, and this is every week. There. Okay, the rules of thumb are you had to do it within three days. We're now week three and they still haven't formed a coalition government. And long, grumbling Alaska volcano has explosive ash burst. Oh God, I mean, some of the most, uh, it's got <laughs> one, of the most one of the most active volcanoes in the universe sets in Alaska as a mountain or something. It just doesn't go kaboom, but it's active continually. And mass, mm, mass grave of giant wombats discovered in Australia. Oh, I like this mass grave. They keep bringing this one up. You know, like, the trick is, I, I'm more trying to figure out why they all died in the same spot instead of just leaving. Could and, it be a wombat elephant graveyard? And in latest Romney ad, Hillary Clinton attacks Obama. Yeah, she said he can't be trusted. He said he'll say anything he has to say. And he won't tell the truth about anything, so, as, as George Stephan office has now found out. Mm -hmm. Do not lie to major news people on the air and make them look like horses' asses. They get revenge. 
and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, this is just an oldie but a goodie. Ask not for what you want because often you find out it's not what you really wanted in the end. Yeah.